Yo, what's going on, guys? Nastro here, back with another episode of Peewee to Pro with Rostislav Nastrov. Last episode, we had the biggest moment of our career so far. We were drafted seventh overall in the CHL draft and have officially joined the Erie Otters. We went 2 0 in our first episode. We scored plenty of goals. Here's Rusty. Top right. Rusty! His first career CHL goal! Bang! Let's go, Rusty! Our attendee, who I still don't know the name of, is absolutely disgusting. I'll go so far to say not a single bad goal went into the back of our net. They scored some nice ones. They were like a between the legs one tee that we had scored on us. But all in all, a good showing from the boys. As you can see by the stats, the Erie Otters currently in second place with four points. We are the scoring leader in the entire league with six total points. And here we are still undefeated. I did ask you guys last episode what you wanted to see in terms of playing versus simming games. This is what we're going to do. Until we lose a game, we are going to be playing every single game. I'm going to see how long we can keep this win streak going. Once we lose a game, we will switch over to play two, sim two. So to end every single episode, we'll do two sims, react to those sims, and then move on to the next episode. If you guys are enjoying Peewee to Pro, let me know in the comments section down below. Of course, hit that like button. Let's go ahead and hop in to game number three. Here is the reporter. I remember when you were just a kid and now you're in the CHL. Remember what you got here. So apparently this reporter is also following us on our career. It started in Pee Wee, went to Bantam, and now is following us around. So respect to Roach for progressing in her career. There is our goaltender, Adam Kirchhan. Okay, Kirchy is forever his name. Kirch, the CHL graphics looking beautiful as always. And here we go. Hopping in to game number three, of course, trying to keep our perfect season alive. All right, boys, let's get going here. What a booming hit from Rostislav Nashrov. I'm telling you, something changed from last from last league to this league. Our attributes are way worse, but for some reason, we could just come out here and destroy people. I love it. All right, Rusty, with a good faceoff, we're, we're going to walk in. Of course, we are still on the superstar difficulty as well. Broler! Oh! Who is in that? What a hit from Rusty! Top left! Holy dude. At some point, I probably should learn how to stick lift and poke check, but with how the hitting is working right now, there is no point in changing it. Here's Paton trying to go for a little spinner. Oh my gosh, dude. I am a literal tank. I did not mean to shoot that. You guys could see my stick. I don't even think I moved. Good win. We have one more shot. One more shot. 20 seconds. 10, 3. <laughs> it's like, dude, when the, when the time is going down at the end of the period, you literally have, once it hits 10 seconds, I think that is your last second. Literally like 10, 3, and then whistle goes immediately after. Get this rolling, boys. We have to score the first goal of this game. I feel like this is the type of game where one goal could potentially win it. Like, it just, it, it feels like a defensive goalie battle kind of day. You know what I mean? Nice save there, Kirch. Also, I did see a lot of your guys' comments. Yes, the Erie Otters is where the one and only Connor McDavid came from. So we have joined good company. Uh, obviously, I don't think we're going to be playing with McDavid since he was about nine years old when this game came out, but we still get to represent him nonetheless. Boom, big hit from Rusty, and we do have a two-on-one. Ah, we kind of had a two-on-one. We don't need more. We're going to drop that for Paton. Broler. Broler. To me! What a pass! Wait, I tried to shoot and I body the guy. Are you kidding me? I tried to shoot past the puck away, and as I go for the shot, we like hip check somebody in front of the net. I don't know what's happening anymore, dude. There is Kirchhoff. Dude, did you see that? His save percentage is 0.98 through two games, 2.5 games so far in this season. Adam Kirchhoff, ladies and gents. What a bump. My goal for this year is to go undefeated in the CHL. We lose one game, my morale is just absolutely shook. Here we go, Broler. To me, top left. And he blocks it in that time. I thought we had enough time for at least a rebound on the play. But no, the block of the year from their CPUs going down to the dive animation and everything. Holy. I cannot get over how difficult this game is. Like, I feel like I'm playing well this game, but even when I have an open lane, I try to take the shot, and these guys are coming in with the block of the years in a reg season game. This isn't even the playoffs, and these guys are going crazy. All right, let's go here. Let's go, Cook. Cook. I'm going right to the net. Boom. Ooh, we almost had that top left corner. That's the cheese. I mean, I feel like that... 
That blocker side on the rush usually is a good play. Yep. Phoebe. Nice little pass. I just got, I think I literally just got punched in the face. Where is the referee? What a save, Kurchan! Brolder to me. Oh my gosh, if we score this. Oh no. Oh no. What a poke. I still can't decide if standing up or sitting down is better in situations like this. You guys will see. Sometimes during the heat of the moment, you just want to stand up. Got that on net. We got that on net. We got a good opportunity out of it. Can't be mad. Three minutes left. Could we have another OT just like we had last episode? The thing that I'm curious about is what happens when we get to a shootout. But we're not going to even let us. Bro! Wait. Bro! Shoot the puck. A pass and don't sit behind the net. They're going to break away. Kirch with another save. Here comes Rusty. 43 seconds on the clock. Okay, we have plenty of time. We're gonna take we're gonna take our time instead of just shooting. <laughs> There's Paton to Rusty. Top left, and we get how does he waffle board that away, dude? Hit him with that poke check. Great poke. Okay, Broler. Broler, pass me that biscuit. We're gonna get it back to actually, you know what? I'm kind of sensing something. That blocker side. I swear that is usually the play, but right now it's just not working. <gasps> Penalty! Ref! He tripped me on an open break. I literally would have had a one on oh right there. I mean, I mean, did they have a defender back sitting in the crease? Probably, but still, ref. I mean, he, he literally poke checked my skates. I do this animation and don't get the puck back, and there's no call on the play. Criminal. Second episode in a row. We are headed to OT. Rusty has the chance to be a hero. We have had so many good shots on net. Rusty? Oh my gosh. Rusty? Oh, we got a successful spin move. I was trying to dangle a little bit there. As we get a nice little poke check on him, we're going to walk in. Okay, I'm going to hold B here. That was actually disgusting. We hit him with a little backhand toe drag there. Are you kidding me? Yep, Kurt on. Oh, my gosh. Rusty, break away. What is that bump, dude? Are you kidding? Four minutes of five on five. Then we may have our first ever shootout with how these goalies... What was that? The puck bounced off Kirch, went straight into the air, and he somehow gets a piece of it, and Rusty's gone. Breakaway, Rusty. I get double cross-checked literally in the face. Okay, Rusty diving out on the play. Rusty, oh my gosh. Kirch, 0-0. Zero, zero. Boys, I have never felt this much drama. We are in the CH, oh my gosh. Paton missed it. Paton Missed it, dude. Oh my goodness. The biggest hit of the year. Rusty again. Back to back big hits. We have a turnover. Here's Baton to Rusty. Rusty. Stick handles twice. Shoot. It's in the net. I keep accidentally bodying people when I go to shoot, but that's okay. Wilson. Oh my gosh. Kirch. Kirch is literally the best goal in the league, dude. I will take that to my grave. Kirch, 100% the best goal in the league. Okay, minute 18 left. We are going for a coast-to-coast -coast here. I'm getting my energy back. Okay, hold on. This is all according to plan. Here's Rusty. We're going to stick handle twice. <laughs> We're going to do whatever that was. No, a breakaway for Hish. Penalty shot! What? <laughs> they finally call it trick, and it's an OT penalty shot. Are you kidding me? That's... He's not even close. He can't even get a shot off. And it is up to Kirsch to make the P-shot save in overtime. Here he comes. <laughs> what is happening in this game? <laughs> Dude, this is, this is absolutely insane. One of the worst penalty shots that I think we have ever seen. <laughs> no. No! Kirsch! Wait! Cook is trying to put it in our own net! Oh my gosh, here we go again. Holy, dude. I, at this point, I'm just sitting back and watching and hoping that we get to a shootout. If we manage to survive this... Oh my... What is that poke? Yep, I'll poke him back. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Rusty. Boom! Find that top left corner, dude. If our attributes are a little higher, I think we hit that. 16 seconds. And we will see if we have our first shootout... I mean, maybe it's a top. What a poke from Cookers. Eight seconds on the clock. Here we go. Six, five. We're going to get one last shot. Pull up. 
That's honestly not a bad opportunity at all. And we make it to the end of OT. Kirch with an insane penalty shot save in the dying seconds of overtime. And now it comes down to a shootout. Shootout lineup. Rostislav Nastrov is going second overall. Here we go. Hish, who had one of the worst penalty shot attempts I have ever seen. Robbed there by Kirch. Torcado. I've literally never seen this guy before, and he's in our shootout. Like, literally, this guy has never touched the ice in the CHL, and we're putting him first in the shootout. Are you kidding me, coach? Okay, here comes Shipley. Shipley. He got the fire animation, and Kirch still comes in with the save, dude. This guy is gross. All right, Rostislav Nastrov. Season-defining moment. Back and forth. He gets a point blank save, dude. I got the fire animation point blank. I can't ask for anything better than that. All right, Carroll with the chance to win. He gets robbed. Okay, Kurt, no doubt in my mind. This is what dreams are made of. Lusani. Rob. On the superstar difficulty, I truthfully mean this. I don't know if we are ever going to see a goal again. Like, this this might be the longest shootout of all time in history. Kazola, chance to win. Kazola! Bang! Just pulls it at the top of the circle and rips a clapper into the top left. My guy, Corzola, has done it. Another guy that we have never seen on the ice, but he comes through with a big shot when we need it most. There's Adam Kirch, the second overall star. I don't know how he... How am I getting the first overall star over Kirch, who played a picture-perfect game, did not let in a shootout goal, and I wasn't even the one that scored the shootout game winner. That makes zero sense, but we will take it. Wow. That is only one game, and it will go down in history. A penalty shot, Kurtz with the save. Shootouts, Kurtz with six saves. And we end up somehow sneaking away with a 3-0. and I know we're only three games into the season, but there's no doubt in my mind, this team is something special. So here we are. We have our new attributes. We are already up to a 59 overall. Our athleticism looking a lot better. We have 73 Excel, 79 speed. So we should be kind of buzzing out there now with these upgrades. We need these guys to lose so we can sit alone in first place. Right now, I think they have the tiebreaker because we have that shootout win versus a regulation win. Maybe the goals differential is a little higher for them as well. But very, very close to that first spot in the Western Conference. Let's keep this rolling. Heading in to game number two. Oshawa Generals versus the Erie Otters. Here in game number four, if we can start the CHL season 4-0, especially with how bad our Pee Wee and Bantam seasons went, my mind is going to be blown. I think right now, 100% of these wins are on Kirch in net. If that guy's not playing, we're losing the game. And there he is, the man, the myth, the legend. 6'3", 185 pounds. Kirchy get this thing going i am feeling the pressure what i love about this game is you just you truthfully have no idea what is going to happen at any given moment you know like the the amount of craziness that happens the amount of craziness that happens like rostislav nashrov getting a boarding penalty on the cleanest hit of the year are you out of your mind ref we're in the box we literally had to sit here for two full minutes are you kidding? Okay, never mind. It's not, it's not a slow clock. So actually, I think we've been in the box for a total of six seconds. And now we are out. And Rusty just goes and wrecks another guy. Holy. All right. Let's go here, boys. Get it over to Yogan. Yogan to Rusty. Oh, my gosh. This is looking beautiful. We're going to drop pass this up to Cookers. Cooks to Tomato. Tomato. Not quite there. Tomato. Go in the net. Rusty with a bump. Oh. Oh my gosh, the no look! Holy! Okay, we are uh, we are off to a bit of a hot start here. Listen, we we we're kind of getting back to our goon. We are getting back to our goon ways from NHL 21 a little bit as Rusty has become 
the booming headhunter that he always was. Look at these hits, dude. I'm telling you, something has changed. All right, Rusty, we're going to take our time. Walk in. Oh, my gosh. Rusty. I tried to find him back door. I was going to wait as long as physically possible. Not able to get it to go through. And we're still at 0-0 after one. We are not going to another OT, especially after last episode where we could just score at will. We're going to get that. Brawler. Brawl. That's a good looking shot, man. Right now, the goal. I'm telling you, the goal is just unreal. Not just Kurt, but the other goalies as well. All right, let's go. Rusty. Two on one. Two on one. Yep, go right at the middle. Brawler. I feel like that's the right play. I'd rather have my AI take that than me because there's no chance I'm going to hit the net. Kirch. Kirch has scared me a little bit. This guy's going for crazy passes. Sometimes you just got to cover it up there, Kirch. Here's Broler. I'm going to sit wide open mid slot. Yep. Short side. I try to find that top one. It's still loose. Dive. Superman. Okay, here's Rusty to Broler. Back to Rusty. Get it on net. Wow, we did get it on net. Try to dive into his skates and hope for the best, but that does not work. And we're going into the third period. Still at 0-0. This is unreal. Especially, I mean, episode number one, I think we scored, what, four or five goals in two games? This episode, neither team can score a goal. It's unreal. That is an incredible pass. Penalty shot! Rusty! Oh my gosh. Okay. No pressure here. Hey, no pressure. I'm not feeling any pressure in the slightest. Rostov Nashrov, open breakaway. I think I was going to score that on the backhand. So do we look to go backhand again on him? Is that the right play? Let's find out. Oh, baby. Here's Rusty. Okay. We're going to take our time. We're going to go slow. Little Patty Kane. Back. Watch this back and forth. Look at this. Boom! Rostov Nashrov! The Patty Kane! Oh my goodness, the patience, the stick handling, and the beautiful flame shot to finish it as Rostislav Nashrov has officially found the back of the net. Now, pretty sure on that faceoff, I was for some reason lined up at left D. I hope and pray that I am not on left defense because this is going to be really ugly. Okay, it looks like our guy's back in position. Actually, Cook is usually D, but he has decided to just walk it in himself. <laughs> Let's go, Roller. Oh, wow. this team, man. The, the chemistry that we have. I don't even need to make passes. I just get ran into. The puck bounces to the right place, and Cook is there to fire a pass back door. This win is all but secure. That could very well be the dagger goal, 2-0. They are gonna have to go for an empty net here at some point, and we will try to score one last goal. 56 seconds, they'll probably go for an empty net their next time they have possession in the O. Okay, a little tic-tac-toe, that rebound. I don't know what happened on that rebound. It looked like it magnetized to this guy's stick. He's able to fire that back door. And Kirch finally gets beat. 2-1, 52 seconds. Let's settle this play down. All right, perfect season still on the line. I'm going to stay back a little bit more because I think Cooks is being a little bit dumb on defense. So we're just going to sit at the blue line, play safe, wait for them to pull the goalie, then we go up and score. Boom, big hit from Rust. Okay, let's go, baby. We got, we got, time, on our, we got time on our side. Let's just chill. Cook. Yep, to Rusty. Oh, my gosh. Nice try, Paton. Nice try, buddy. All right, 22 seconds on the clock. Here comes their goalie out of the net. Okay, open net. Rusty with a booming hit. He's got it to Brawler. Brawler to Rusty. We got speed. Wheels, 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 wheels. Rusty, fire on net. Fire it. No. What a block. Rusty, spinner, back door. No, five seconds. They don't have time, do they? Three, two, one. And the Eerie Otters have started the first two episodes of the CHL with a 4-0 record. Oh, we just got to take some time, calm down a little bit. The energy in this building was just unreal tonight. Kirch playing some unbelievable hockey. Rusty coming in with a big two points and burying the penalty shot winner as well. You cannot ask for a better episode than this one.
right here. Well, it's only fitting that we end this episode as a 61 overall after the best episode I think we've had of Pee Wee to Pro so far. Shootouts, penalty shots, penalties for Rusty, everything in between. This one was a blast. The Erie Otters have officially taken the number one spot in that Western Conference. Eight points. These guys lost in OT, so they have dropped down to second. Still a tight race, but again, we are playing every single game until we lose. Oh, we also have Jeff Skinner, Taylor Hall, Morin joining us here on the top. So we're in some familiar company here in the top scoring leaders, but Rostislav Nashrov will find his way to the top. If you guys are enjoying Pee Wee to Pro, let me know in the comment section. Of course, hit that like button and hit subscribe. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. That's it for today. I'll see you guys next time and peace. Yeah.